In this golf bag, I have two very different sets of Cobra golf clubs. One cheap budget set from Costco and one quite premium expensive set that you will see in pro shops around the world. Which one's better bang for the buck? Let's find out and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I have a set of Costco Cobra Irons, the Cobra XL Speed, and also a set of Cobra Irons, the LTDX. Guys, the LTDX Irons will set you back around £800. The XL Speed, however, £400 with a hybrid, a three wood, a driver and a putter. Now, that's obviously a huge price difference, guys. In fact, it is a massive price difference. Now, I've already done a test reviewing the Cobra Costco driver and the Cobra LTDX driver, the premium expensive driver you will see on the shelves around the world. And you guys said, James, that video was fantastic. Well, some of you did. But you also said, James, I want to see a review of the irons. We need to see a comparison of the irons. That's exactly what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to go out here on the golf course and compare results. And also, I've jumped in the studio to see exactly what the differences are in ball speed, spin rate, and distance. Guys, get in the comments below. What is the difference going to be? So, guys, I'm going to kick things off with the Cobra LTD X signs. These are jam-packed full of technology. I have reviewed them before, but I'll go through the technology in this video for you. We have around 150 yards to kick things off, closest to the pin. Guys, how many? Can the budget Costco clubs win? Straight at it will go. That is straight at it as well. Be good. That is a lovely green in regulation to start with the expensive clubs, which you would hope for that price. What about the irons you can pick up in a package set next to the toilet roll, the ketchup paper, and indeed the toothpaste? You'll note how I've not spoken too much about technology just yet with the XL Speed irons. They actually look quite similar when you put them down at a dress. And for a budget set, I do quite like these. I've absolutely ripped that. Be good. I might need to sit, you know. Sit! This is going to be very, very interesting. Guys, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. So guys, if you've watched my channel before, you will be aware that I love the idea of playing budget golf, of playing slightly cheaper golf, so that it can be playable for everybody. So when I find a premium branded set of clubs such as Cobra in Costco, for me that's win-win for everybody, even if these irons don't perform to the level of the LTDX with the power core shell, with the power face, with all the tungsten weighting in them, if they perform anything like that first shot, for £400 plus a driver, plus a hybrid, plus a fairway, plus a putter, you can't lose. So you can see here, guys, with the eight irons, that's actually two pretty good shots. I have one just flag high to the right. That is the LTDX, the quite expensive clubs. And over to the left, we have one slightly long left. That is the XL Speed, the Cobra Costco Specials. And looking at these, I think there's only one winner to kick things off. Although they are very, very similar distances aren't they um stoppage wise you can see the xl speed a little bit of stoppage we've been downwind not too bad at all and where did the ltdx pitch can't see it so guys from the hole looking at it i think there can only be one winner on this first hole and it is the budget xl speed one nil and for me the really interesting thing is i can do this test inside in fact i have done this test inside so stay tuned for those numbers guys and people in the comments are always very interested in the numbers and the ball speed and the spin rate how far did it go but often it's slightly different out here because out here the elements can be the ultimate equalizer remember that one so we've kicked things off with two pretty good eight irons there and two greens in reg what about 130 yards uphill with the pitching wedges. You see guys, these irons actually look more similar than you may think. They both have a nice wide sole. They both have nice deep cavities in the back. However, you see the LTDX does have that power core shell in there just to dampen some vibrations, and maybe produce a little bit more ball speed from around the face. But I do like the look of that XL speed, although it doesn't look quite as premium 
as uh, this bad boy here. Now we will switch up the order. We're going to try and make this test as fair as physically possible. So we'll go XL speed to start with, or the Costco to start with, should I say. Not much technology really to talk about in here, apart from just a nice, well-built budget club. This isn't a full shot. This is a nice sawn off pitching wedge. Can we get some control here? Oh, this is going to be tough to beat if it's up there. And it is. Run out a bit. That's around 20 to 30 feet. Can we get a touch more control with the LTD X? So as well as the power core technology, we also have the PowerShell face technology. Um, if Foxy would have cleaned these, you can see that just there on that milled face. And we also have speed tuned weighting as well. So tungsten weighting in the toe there, just to allow for a bit more stability. This is gonna take a good shot to get inside that. It's not playing easy today. Need all the control that we can get. I'll be as good as you look. This could be exceptional. Oh, slightly long, but down its throat. This is gonna be another close one compared to the price differences. Uh, you can go in there and you can go in there. Guys, another really interesting thing for me here, how much performance difference would you need to see for the difference in price for getting a free hybrid, a free three wood driver and putter so you can play golf on a bit more of a budget? Let me know in the comments below. Now, interestingly, walking up to these, another quite close affair here. The shot on the left is the King XL Speed, so the cheaper one from Costco. And the one that's gone a little bit long is the LTD X. I think that one's actually spun back a little bit. You can hear we are into the wind ever so slightly, and that's a win for the LTD X, although I would not fancy either of these two putts down these slopes. You can see the XL Speed actually pitched here, and spun a little bit to the left it had a bit of draw spin axis on it that is one all so guys i have brought the odd numbers out with me today we've had the pitching wedge we've had the eight iron it is time for the six irons it's also probably worth talking about components you get in these clubs for the price as well because heads aren't the only bit of technology that you do pay for when you buy golf clubs so in these clubs you'll see the bottom club is the cobra ltdx that is a kbs tour 90 shaft and the top club is as you can see the cobra xl speed that is some kind of shaft that i think cobra may have made on a bit more of a budget it's still it's still a stepped shaft and the steps don't quite match that of the kbs grips wise we do have a crossline 360 standard lampkin in the ltdx and we have again cobra's own kind of little grip in the xl speed to keep the budget down now i don't mind that the grip actually feels good will it last as long as this grip potentially not but then if you're thinking of taking golf up for the first time it's not a bad option to not waste too much money is it right we've got 215 yards here but it is downhill so six iron is the shot let's go off the deck this time rather than off a tee and get a true comparison of these clubs we'll go ltdx to start with right we just want a nice high fade into the right hand flag we've hit every green so far which is quite ridiculous stay tuned for the numbers comparison in a second that's so easy to launch as well that could be nice don't be long oh that's took a horrible kick left that has opened the door for the xl speed that wasn't a bad shot at all actually it just didn't fade like i wanted it to and then kick left rather than right remember what i said guys the ultimate equalizer is the elements hit the green with this and the budget clubs are victorious that was a skinny strike but it's online with the flag let's get down there and see where they've finished so guys, before I show you exactly where these shots have finished, I have jumped in the studio and had a look at the numbers for some of these irons. Let's take a look at what the numbers were and then let me know, is that enough of a difference for the price for you? So to test these Cobra Costco golf clubs and the Cobra LTDX irons, I went middle of the pack guys. I went eight iron and I must admit, I was amazed first of all, how similar they looked down at the ball, but also how similar they felt and the ball flights that we did get as you can see 
of some of these flights here. When it comes to the numbers, you'll see that splitting them was quite difficult as well. So slightly more ball speed with the LTDX, as you would imagine, slightly less launch angle, the wheel will be slightly stronger lofted, and a bit less spin, resulting in 10 extra yards with the eight iron, both carrying distance. Now for me, that's quite a big difference distance. Is it worth the money? Guys, get in the comments below and let me know, could you use these clubs? Let's see what happens down on this last green. Now I can see here already that the XL Speed, the Cobra Costco club, has clung on to the back edge of that green. I can't see the LTDX anywhere. It did just roll off the back there, which means I think we have a winner. Um, that's right, guys. The Budget Club has taken it. And even though that has just missed the green, that's a much more acceptable shot than the one we have here from the LTDX. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that video. It shows just how close these golf clubs can be. You don't have to spend a load of money if you want to play fun golf. Guys, make sure you check out the comparisons with the three woods, the hybrids, and the drivers with these clubs. And apart from that, I'll see you all the same time tomorrow. Bye.